Now this is a, a grinder, uh, a grinder which can be used for several purposes, whether you want to get um, the flour from different seeds, but you can also use it to make uh, value-added products such as peanut butter. Now the grinder is made such that it has several cones which intersect from the outer and the inner one and as it as the inner one rotates the seeds are intertwined, intertwined in between the cones such that they are crushed and reduced in sizes that's how it works if you put it on you will feel the inside rotates the level of fineness is actually adjusted from this that's adjust, adjustment knobs, right? You can get, you can also get the, the, the power driven. Mm. Currently in Kenya, they are available. Yes. They begin. Now to make peanut butter, especially from peanuts and that's why they are famous called peanut butter is that you need to first select your peanuts from the market or from wherever the sauce is however they have to be roasted and normally roasting it is done at about 200 degrees celsius the purpose of roasting is that uh, you dry them to acceptable moisture levels and when they are already roasted, of course, after careful sorting so that you have clean seeds, you roast and then when you are ready, after lifting them dry, you come to the grinder, which is the peanut butter machine maker. The machine, as I had explained earlier, works simply by, by first, if, when it is on, the inner components there is a static cone which is which is stable however there is also a rotating cone which as it rotates grinds grinds the seeds now the seeds are placed from this hopper and when the hopper picks the seeds the seeds enter the machine and as the machine rotates it crushes the seeds and depending on how well you have dried your seeds you can either get a, a, a flour or a powder or you can get the peanut butter now the peanuts are made uh, are in such a way that they have quite a lot of oil and that oil with 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 with, with, with the acceptable rate of grinding will give you the fine pin butter that you, you desire Blocked. Eh? Oh. Are you ready? Now, they, as the seeds are fed from this hopper, they are taken deep within the machine, and I've said that the machine rotates, and as it rotates. It produces a peanut butter at the end point, at the lower side of the container.
peanut butter is being collected at the lower end. Now peanut butter has got several uses in the food industry and one of the ways of use of peanut butter is simply by applying it on the on the bread so that it lubricates the bread and brings out the sweet uh, aroma of the peanuts within the bread it is also used famously uh, eaten together with the other foods and this is a simple way whereby a whole community that depends on peanut butter can add value to the peanuts and when they add value to the peanuts because raw peanuts sell much less compared to peanut butter actually peanut butter can go for twice the amount the raw peanuts are being bought at and, and, and that actually empowers the community in the sense that they will have an economic benefit from what they produce and they will not feel that their their efforts are wasted have you said it to the man now to make peanut butter you need the raw peanuts when the raw peanuts have been selected carefully from from the super or from the market or from the farm the first thing that has to be done is to sort the raw peanuts so that you have clean seeds when you have clean seeds the next step for making peanut butter is for them to be roasted now normally we roast this peanut butter at 200 degrees celsius however there are many ways of roasting including in an open pan without appropriate measurements but however you will know when they are ready because the coats shrink and they become much harder the main purpose for that is to reduce the amount of water that is available inside now when they are ready and you have roasted and they are dry you you have an opportunity to use the peanut butter maker or machine and this machine is made such that it has a, a, a static cone inside and a rotating cone which is driven by a motor when you are, when you use it, when you put it on as it rotates and you put your seeds through this hopper and as you put the seeds through the hopper they are led down in between the cones of the machine and they are crushed and reduced in size and due to the amount of oil that is available in peanut butter you are able to get a thick a thick peanut paste that is famously referred to as peanut butter now peanut butter has got several uses and one of the major uses of peanut butter is uh, in being incorporated into a bread uh, so that it works just like any margarine uh, as a sandwich you can use it to in bread and it gives your bread a very distinctive pleasant taste peanut butter is also used in foods and especially the indians use it in several other food and dishes in the homes or homemade dishes once you have made the peanut butter you simply can just pack it into containers appropriately and when you have several of these containers you can have a well made peanut butter which is which is which can be sold to super supermarkets or individuals now the value of making peanut butter is that you are adding value to the raw peanuts because a peanut butter the equivalent amount goes twice the cost of the raw peanuts and that can be able to empower a whole community by providing an avenue of getting income and when a community is is improved in terms of income the economic lot of that community is improved and hence the development or the growth of our economy as a nation now my name is uh, mr george oko abung and i teach at the department of food science nutrition and technology of the University of Nairobi that is Faculty of Agriculture and in the College of Agriculture and Veterinary Sciences. 
Now in this department of food science, nutrition and technology, we train human personnel in areas of food science and technology, that is the science of food and food processing. And we also train uh, human personnel on nutrition sciences. And that is how uh, the, the provisions that we get from food, uh, we are able to train a large number of human personnel and many personnel have passed through our department. We are proud to channel many people in this nation from through this department. Sorry. My name is uh, Mrs. Rosemary Kamang. I work in this department of Food Science, Nutrition and Technology. I'm a senior technologist. I work in the chemistry lab, processing pilot plant, and the cereal laboratory and in general um, I work in, in, in any of the labs and uh, um, we are proud also to pass to have a human uh, resource the students pass through the laboratories and we train them on uh, how to use the theory that they have they have been taught in the classrooms on how to work on it uh, uh, practically. They find it very useful to associate the practical uh, work with the theory work and uh, in that way we get uh, holistic graduates out of this department. I am proud to be associated with the University of Nairobi and this department of food science, nutrition and technology as a whole. Thank you. We are proud also to pass to have a human uh, resource. The students pass through the laboratories, and we train them on uh, how to use the theory that they have they have been taught in the classrooms on how to work on it uh, uh, practically. They find it very useful to associate the practical uh, work with the theory work, and uh, in that way we get. Uh, holistic graduates out of this department. I am proud to be associated with the University of Nairobi and this department of food science, nutrition, and technology as a whole. Thank you. Now my name is uh, Dr. George Ooko Abung, and I teach in the department of food science, nutrition, and technology of the University of Nairobi. Uh, that is the Faculty of Agriculture and the College of Agriculture and Veterinary Sciences. Now in this department, we have a major contribution. For number one, we train students who later on, after graduating, uh, enter the society and train other people in the society. Apart from training, where we do majorly two fields, that is food science and technology, dealing with the processing of foods, we also train those who are studying nutrition. However, we have got several contributions to the society, and some of the ways we contribute to the society is that we are able to train individuals who are able to make or process their own food products. We also train farmer organizations, we train NGOs, and we also train church groups, and we are very friendly to the society and approachable. And we, we are able, by through this, the various trainings, we are able to contribute to the society and contribute towards the development of the society. And when we train in food processing, we are able to contribute towards the development of this nation, especially geared towards Vision 2030. Uh, and, and, and we have a major contribution uh, to the society in that sense. And therefore we are proud to be associated with this university and what we, the work we are doing. We are trying to promote and, 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 and promote the development of a nation called Kenya.